Hey guys, it's Heidi here, and I probably look like shit right now. It's night, of course, and today I thought it would be nice to go over what I'm calling I Must Read What I Have, to be our list, and the books are right here with me, and... Isn't it sad that all of these are non-fiction? Like, yeah, get to protect. Yeah, they're all non-fiction. I don't know if I should apologize for that or not. But, anyway, on to the first book. This is an actual textbook. Don't worry, I didn't take this class. My class before I took a break from college was computer graphics. But this one is Philosophy, an Introduction to the Art of Wondering, 8th edition by James L. Christian. We found this at a, a my head. This is how thick it is. I will be going over some of these books in chapter by chapter. Other books are going to be an overall review after I'm re done reading them. This one's going to be a chapter by chapter because it covers so much and then I'll do an overview. I'm reading this because I want to be more open-minded and not be a part of a herd. Or a sheep. If that makes sense. I want to regain a lot of my critical thinking skills and like how to think. Because I think I noticed that a lot with because I went because of public school just candy and what they wanted you to see as the answer. I couldn't critically think of my for myself. And I'm hoping this book helps me. Let me read basically have it right here, right? Oh, look at that glare. <laughs> this book's an old book. After I do a review of this, I will be reading this word for word on my channel because that's how old this is. Roses. By Peter Coates. It has 119 illustrations in both in color and in black and white. I found this in the local flea market. Um, this edition was first published in 1973. It is copyrighted in by copyrighted 1962. Has that nice old book smell. <laughs> this is a if you put the uh, philosophy book in this, like in your hands when you're walking to your car at, in the dark during college, you're safe. Uh, the dark histories of kings and queens of England, 1066 to the present day. By Brenda Ralph Lewis. It's nice and shiny. Oh, well, it had some weight to it. This one is no, uh, the new astrology, ancient insight to the modern or world. Know yourself and master your destiny. Tiana Kitola. All these will be in the description, like the names and the author. It's a small book. It was copyrighted in 1984. This is a year older than me. 
and this is a natural bestseller, Lies My Teacher Told Me. This is the second edition. The reason why this is a second edition and not the first is because, I kid you not, it actually says in the book that they made a second edition just because the first edition was getting too old. And they thought that that could be used against them. Only reason this is around, even though you can, it's a bestseller, I can't wait to read this. Because my learning was very lacking. And my Just for Funsy books. And because I feel like I need to get tougher, like a lot of people need to get tougher skin, is Classic Rare Jokes, Crass Humor from the Discriminating Jokester by Scott McNeely. Um... I bought this from um, Spencer's mainly because I wanted to know the Polish jokes because I kept on getting Polish jokes because my last name is Polish and it was always the same three jokes. There's a lot of funny long jokes here. But if you guys want me to go through a few of these after I'm done reading this and giving you an overview of this, I will. But I think the only thing I'm going to read to you is the introduction and why it's important to laugh. Now with that out of the way, I would like to tell the new subscriber subscribers it's late, I can't talk on a good day. Thank you for joining us. It's funny, but my, uh, this channel has, uh, more subscribers than my gaming channel, which I find hilarious. My, uh, I would also like to point out every month, like, I didn't do one January because it's like, I did the uh, I read your comments out loud and make a video of it every month. Maybe it's going to be two videos if it's long enough, but I will do it. This one's going to be, um, because it's February on the 28th. Ooh. Yeah, February's a weird month. So, between that time, throughout my videos, Leave a comment, and I'll be sure to read them at the end of this month. And I will be making a video on it. That way, I, you know for a fact I'm replying to you. And, two, am I the only one who finds it funny that my one, the, my, one of my most highly rated video by views is the one without the sound? <laughs> I kid you not, it's the one without the sound, and it's like, I'm really hoping people rested that. Really hoping. And before you ask, yes, every video I have that has some, like, really bad, um, problems with it, I will be renaming it, uh, Problem Child and redoing that video. After I redo that. Um, also, I would like to know, um, what, when it comes to my writing, would you want me to, because I can't, the video I was planning on doing was a pro and con video, but I can't, like, put the info into a pro or a con, so, are you guys okay with me just listing out reasons, the good and the bad, in any order? of that and just talking about how what it's like to write in multiple works for me at least and what part of the writing process do you want me to cover like I can cover up to the drafting that means world building world creation characters all that. um right now I'm at the world building stage of all my works 
<sighs> it's hell. <laughs> it's a very, very fun type of hell. And I would just like to know what you want me to cover, would like me to cover when it comes to writing, because I have no idea what people would like me to cover as a writer. Not an author, a writer. Or would you want some, t some info on going to college? Let me know down below, uh, along with your um, sign. I'm an Aries. Have a good night, everyone.